Oh, Trisha, what is the so force? Trisha, what is the force that causes objects to fall to the ground? Girl, you better. I know this because my titties are low thanks to gravity. Yay! <laughs> but a we personal really, anecdote. Can we just also say we don't actually need gravity? But that's a different thing. Like, what do you mean by I that? I saw someone do this. Was this a TikTok? We were watching something where someone's like, we don't actually need gravity. We were watching this with me. Like, we actually don't need it. What do you mean that we don't need gravity? What if it was never invented? Invented by who? Sir Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton created gravity? Whoever created gravity, someone did, but we don't actually need it. There was, like, we a, time just on, all... there was a time on Earth before gravity existed? Yes. Oh. Who, who created gravity, babe? God. Dan. It was Isaac well, Newton. It, you, You're right. <laughs> you were I'm in the it. right ballpark. Sir Isaac Newton perhaps uh, first defined and discovered Maybe. gravity. He what do you mean we don't need gravity? gravity? I'm curious about that We statement. just don't need it. But like, what do you mean? The moon doesn't have gravity. Oh, boy. It does. All bodies, all celestial bo I mean, all bodies, you mass. have gravity. Uh, anything with in mass fact, has gravity. So, in fact, some would say you have a sizable amount of gravity. What's that mean? <laughs> I'm fat? You're calling me fat yeah. now. Attractive. Yeah, oh. attractive. Thank you, Moses. <laughs> well, you're fat. Um, we've got quite a large pay dispute happening with our Australian women's soccer team at the moment. Um, is it frustrating for you as someone who's so prominent in your sport and we heard you say on the Ellen show the other day you are the richest fighter in UFC that that sort of thing is still going on. I think that how much you get paid should have something to do with how much money you bring in. I'm the highest paid fighter not because Dana and Lorenzo wanted to do something nice for the ladies. <laughs> they do it because I bring in the highest numbers. They do it because I make them the most money. And I think that the money that she, they make should be proportionate to the money that they bring in. Because that's all guys want. All guys want is yeah. see. Swear what? to God. What? No, no, no. Let me rephrase that. City men want to see, and that's all they want from you. Higher guys that are worth more, that will benefit your life more, they're not just gonna want pussy from you. And that's a fact. Or could it be that the men that only want sex from women is because that's all that the women have to offer? Because for me, if pussy is all you're offering, pussy is all I want. Yeah. Just like, you know what, how many times you've gotten to a club into VIP for free when some ugly chicks had to pay full price? Is that my fault? Oh. No, no, no. I've asked how many times it happened before you go down that path. I mean, it, plenty of times in Miami. Exactly, but that's not fair, is it? Well, please don't forget I'm not from here. But so. that's not the point, ma'am. That's yeah. not fair, is it? I also don't care about those things. But oh, so you only care about fairness when it when it doesn't benefit you. I just don't go to clubs that often. But and that's not the point. I asked you how many times yeah. you've gone to a club where you got in and free where ugly chicks or less attractive chicks had to pay. And you know that's happened. You didn't say, I'm still, excuse me, sir. Uh, even though I'm attractive, I demand that you charge me full price. You're okay with the double standards that benefit you. But the ones you don't like, you just throw at the wind. You sign language, shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right to deflect and dismiss guys who are normally intimidated by this thing. I'm not. I'm just challenging your position. You're okay with it not being fair when it benefits you. Michael, do you know what the leading cause of death for pregnant people is? Pregnant people? Mm -hmm. Mothers? Women? If you'd like to call them mothers, not all of them are mothers, but if you'd like to call them that. What are they if they're not mothers? They're pregnant people. What, what people other than mothers are pregnant? Does it bother you to use inclusive language? Well, it's just I, interesting. I, I prefer to use precise language. It's interesting because <laughs> you come into this conversation, you know, trying to hold this moral superiority. But then I when I, know. I when I, I try use, to be moral when I can, but I right. But when I use inclusive language, which it only takes a couple extra syllables to use inclusive language, to and, and who? it seems to include people who don't, cla you know, identify as women but can become pregnant. So, like a person who's born a woman, and then identifies as a man mm -hmm. and is pregnant. Yeah. So you're telling me. That in order to be a moral person, I need to accept the idea that a man, someone who is born a man and looks like a man, can really become a woman. That's, that's a, a prerequisite of my being a moral person. I mean, yes. To, to me, it is. Because if you are trying to deny someone of their identity and deny what their life experience is, then that doesn't seem like a moral stance to me. I want to be accepting and I want to respect people's life experiences and respect the way that they want to identify and respect the way that they want to present themselves to the world. Bronte, I would yes. like to identify. I do identify, actually. 
-hmm. as the correct person on this issue of abortion. Okay. I identify as being correct and more correct than you on this issue. And I would just ask that you accept and affirm my uh, identity. Do you? Well, you are not a medical professional, and abortion and pregnancy no, is a medical my concern. That's not your identity. That is my I promise you that's my identity. <laughs> you don't want to get married at all? You don't want not a family yet. or children? Yes, but in the future, but no, no. Well, you're 28, right? Yes. Uh, well, how, when do you want to have kids? 35, maybe. <laughs> well, at 35, 90, um, f from a biological standpoint, at 35 years old, over around 90% of your eggs are gone. <laughs> and your ability to bring a child to term comes down a lot. I don't think so. Well, Age is a number. I mean, we can say, you can say you don't think so, but realistically speaking, your chances of having a child bringing Freeze it to term eggs. at 35, that doesn't work often and it's very expensive. Hmm. I don't know. I want to enjoy my life, so I'm not ready. <laughs>